Hello, our today's lesson is all about multiple alleles in coat color of rabbits, a type of non-Mendelian inheritance. Okay, so let us first define what is multiple allele. Multiple alleles is a gene that is controlled by more than two alleles. A perfect example of multiple alleles is the alleles that controls the coat color in rabbits. So let us have an example, say for this one. A rabbit with white hair on its body and black hair on part of the ears and the nose and on the toes. So ang tawag sa rabbit na yan is the Himalayan rabbit. And then another furry color in rabbit is... This one, the grayish one, and ang tawag sa kan naman sa kanya is the chinchilla rabbit. Still, another type of allele that controls the coat color in rabbit is the allele for albino rabbit, giving its white color, and the allele for the black rabbit, giving its black color. Okay, so let's move on to the genotypes for each allele that represents a particular coat color in rabbit. So, ito yung magiging guide natin to solve the problems later on sa, sa involving sa coat color ng rabbit. Okay, for the Himalayan, ang symbol na gagamitin natin or genotype is capital letter C raised to small letter H, capital letter C, raised to small letter H. So, nandun na yung clue. H for Himalayan. Okay? And capital letter C. Bakit letter C? Kasi we are representing the coat color. Okay po? And then for chinchilla, the grayish rabbit. So, letter C, capital ulit, raised to CH, and then capital C, raised to CH. CH naman para sa chinchilla kasi it starts with letter C and H. Okay? And for the albino, you have small letter C and small letter C. Parehas na small letter C. Albino, the, the rabbit with white coat color, all white. And for the black naman, you have capital letter C and capital letter C. Parehas capital letter for the black coat color. Okay? Okay. So before we proceed to the problem solving, let us first have some simple reminders. Multiple alleles makes for many possible dominance relationships. In this case, C, the allele for black, is dominant over others. What does it mean? Ibig sabihin, sa lahat ng trait, sa lahat ng coat color na diniscuss natin kanina, ang mas malakas at mas nangingibabaw is the trait for black color. Okay, next, C, raised to CH. This is the allele for chinchilla. Is completely dominant to C, raised to H, Himalaya, and small letter C, albino. Uh, so, it means that chinchilla is dominant over Himalaya and albino. And lastly, C, raised to H, Himalaya, is dominant over small letter C, albino. So, all in all, the most dominant of all the traits is letter C for black and the recessive one is the allele for albino, small letter C. Okay? Okay, so do you know why black is the dominant color and white or albino is the recessive color? So, here is the simple explanation. The C allele of this gene encodes a fully functional enzyme that makes lots of pigments and results in black fur. The C, CH, or chinchilla allele encodes an enzyme that is less effective at making pigment, resulting in lighter, more grayish fur. The C raised to H, or Himalaya allele, encodes a defective enzyme where the defect makes the enzyme very sensitive to temperature. It works fine at lower temperatures 
but tasked to work at all at higher temperatures. The rabbit's extremities, like the paws, the ears, etc., are cooler, so the enzyme functions there and makes the pigment. The rabbit's main body is warmer, so the enzyme does not function and no pigment is made. The small letter C for the albino allele encodes a completely non-functional enzyme, leading to an albino rabbit, one, does that, one that does not produce any pigment in its hairs. Okay, so let us move on to the problem solving. Given the genotype, find the F1 of the cross between black rabbit and chinchilla. Using the given genotype, find the F1 of the cross between black rabbit and chinchilla. So, kinuha ko to sa isang module sa grade 9. Okay, let's do it. Okay, first, um, tignan natin yung mga given. So, black rabbit saka chinchilla. Ang hinahanap is the F1 generation. So, ibig sabihin, first filial generation. Yung magiging first batch ng magiging anak nung dalawang to. Okay? So, lagay muna natin yung genotype para sa black rabbit. So, kung natatandaan yung discussion natin kanina, the genotype is capital letter C both. And then, for chinchila naman, the genotype is a capital letter C raised to CH. Yeah, and then capital letter C raised to CH. Okay. So, let us perform the Punnett cross. So, katulad po ng uh, tinuro ko sa inyo last time. Yeah, medyo pangit yung cross. Okay. Tinuro ko sa inyo last time. Gawa tayo ng rectangle na merong 9 na boxes. Okay po. Sa isang module, may nakita ako, hindi siya 9 boxes. Ang ginawa niya is 4 uh, na boxes lang. Pwede rin yun. Kaso medyo nakakalito yun. Pero ituturo ko rin sa inyo mamaya. Parehas lang sila. Okay? Katulad tong sinabi ko, yung unang box is para sa symbol ng babae at saka ng lalaki. Which is hindi muna natin susulat kasi hindi naman specified doon kung alin dito yung babae, kung alin yung lalaki. So, for the meantime, ito muna. Okay? So, ilalagay natin, katulad ng sinabi ko na ako nakaraan, law of segregation, segregate muna natin. Paano to? Ito, magkasama yan. Ayan, at saka yan. Okay? So, segregate natin. So, dalawang C, capital. Ayan. So, tignan nyo kung paano ko sinusulat yung letter C. Medyo meron siyang kanto. Bakit? To emphasize, it is written in capital letter. So, natutunan ko yan sa biology teacher ko dati. Okay, then this one, baba natin. So, C, then CH. Medyo mahirap pagsulat. Okay? Then the other one, capital letter C, and then CH. Okay, now, punta na tayo sa magiging offspring nila. So, ibaba lang natin, that is letter C, capital letter C and then sa gilid niya is capital letter C raised to CH okay, and then this one naman capital letter C and then C, A, C raised to CH pagsasamahin lang natin kung alin yung magkatapat okay, so node is dito sa baba, bandang baba tingin lang sa pinakataas sa parent Capital letter C, and then sa gilid, capital letter C raised to C A H. Okay, the last box, pinaka, tingin sa pinakataas na part, so capital letter C, then tingin sa pinakagilid. Copy-paste lang natin. C H. Okay, so that's it. Now, let us interpret. Yun. What will be the phenotype of the F1 generation? Okay, so titignan natin ano-ano yung mga nasa apat na boxes na yan. So, magkakaparehas ba? Okay, magkakaparehas sila. So, yan. Copy-paste lang natin. C, raise to mm -hmm. C, H. 
okay. So, anong ibig sabihin niyan? Sa so, napag-aralan natin kanina, parang wala namang gantong symbol, di ba? Okay, pero nabanggit natin kanina that C, capital letter C, is dominant over C raised to CH or chinchilla. So, ibig sabihin black is dominant over chinchilla. So, kapag ganito, what will be the phenotype? Since C or black is dominant, ang magiging phenotype ng kanilang offspring is color black. Yan po. Ilang black? Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is 4 over 4 na black. Okay, which is equivalent saan? Sa 100%. Okay. So, the cross between a black rabbit and a chinchilla produces 100% black sa first filial generation. Okay, again, bakit black? Kasi C is dominant over CH. Okay po. So, balikan natin kanina dun sa isang module, bakit apat lang yung nakalagay na box? Ganito yung ginawa nila. Yan. Yan. Papakita ko lang ha, bakit apat lang yung nakalagay na boxes. Okay. Kasi dito nang nakalagay yung kanilang offspring. So, yung nasa taas, ito, tsaka to, hindi na nila sinama sa box. Tapos, yung nasa gilid, ayan, tsaka, C raised to CH. Okay, kanyan yan. So, parehas ba kalalabasan? Isa sa nine boxes? Oo, parehas lang. So, nasa sa inyo kung alin ang gagawin ninyo. Basta we arrive at the same answer. Okay, sige. Uh, let us continue solving the problem. Uh, the same problem pa rin. Kaso nga lang, ang kaibahan nito is we are looking for the F2. Still, ang problem na to ay galing po sa ating module. Okay, so, ang question is, find the F2 of the cross between the black rabbit and chinchilla. So, ano nga ba pag sinabi natin F2? Pag sinabi natin F2, filial generation 2, mga anak ng F1. Okay? So, since ang F1 natin is 100% black, tama ba? So, ibig sabihin, ang F1 natin is all black na may ganitong genotype. Tama? 100%. Yung sinolve natin kanina. Ito yung sagot. So, ang tinatanong, anong magiging anak pag ito nag-crossbreed with other ganito. So, ibig sabihin, black versus black. Okay? Yun ang ipagka-cross natin. Okay? So, gawa tayo ng planet square. Okay? Planet square ulit. Yan, walang karapat, ay, walang katapusang planet cross. Ganun talaga. Okay? Pero madali lang to. Mm -mm. Minsan lang kasi na unahan tayo ng kaba. Nakita natin. Ang hirap naman. No, hindi dapat ganun. Okay? So, katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, ang first um, box is empty box kasi para yun sa symbol ng girl at saka ng, o male at saka ng female. So, since hindi naka-indicate sa problem kung alin dito yung male, kung yung black ba, o yung chintila, hindi natin ilalagay yun. Okay? So, paghiwalay natin to. Ayan. Ayan. So, parehas. Katulad ng pinagpauna ko kanina, parehas na heterozygous black. So, parehas. Okay. Bakit parehas? Kasi nga, ang tinatanong is F2. Sabihin, mga anak ng F1. Okay. So, cross na natin. Mm -hmm. So, C, tingin lang sa uh, pinakagilid at pinakataas. Ayan. Okay. And then, pinakataas ulit. Then, pinakagilid. Sundan ninyo. Okay. And then, pinakataas. At saka pinakagilid. So, ang papansin nyo is, they are the same. Okay. So, check muna natin bago natin interpret. Baka may mali. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So, tawag dito is F2. Okay, F2 or second filial generation. Okay. So, ito naman, yung pinag-cross natin, ang tawag naman sa, naka, sa kanila is P2, parental generation 2. Kasi, pangalawang cross na natin. Okay, so, interpret na natin. Let us copy from the, from the boxes of the offspring. Okay, and then the other one, P raised to CH. Okay, and then there's still another one. C raised to CH C raised to CH Okay So, medyo ayusin natin to para magandang tignan Okay Yan, so anong ibig sabihin yan? Okay, anong kulay to? That is an ulit Okay, tama, black. Diba? Cut the letter C, cut the letter C is black. Okay, tatandaan pa. This one, what will be the phenotype? Okay, black pa rin. Ang galing. Bakit black? Ay, may CH mama. Kasi nga, black is dominant over chinchila. Kaya black pa rin yun. Kahit meron siyang CH. Kasi mas dominant yung C. Okay, and the third one is automatic. That is for chinchila. Okay, sulat natin, Shin, Sheila. Okay, the uh, gray one. Okay, na rabbit. Then, let's go for the percentage. So, bilangin natin kung ilan ng ganito sa box. We have, eto yun, isa lang. 1 over 4. Diba? Bakit 4? Kasi 4 yung offsprings. Okay, and then this one, isa, dalawa. So, that is 2 over 4. Okay? And then, for the chinchilla, we have ilan? 1 over 4. Okay? Now, let's go for the percentage. Okay? Dali na lang to sa inyo. Okay, ilang percent ang black? So, that is 2 plus 1 equals 3. So, ilan yun? 3 over 4, or that is equivalent to 75%. Okay, bakit 75%? Kasi 2 plus 1 equals 3 over 4. So, 3 fourths equals 75%. And then, 1 fourth is equal to 25%. So, for the F2 generation, we have 75% black, and 25% chinchilla. Okay, so that's it. So, alam na natin. So, I hope na natin.